Oh, are you guys watching the um the Sony PlayStation event next Thursday? I'm I not. Be. Maybe. I'm very they intrigued what they're gonna reveal. Yeah, I, I think for sure they're gonna reveal um or not even reveal but show showcase Final Fantasy 16 again. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, hopefully we get a date on that. Probably Honestly, maybe a sure. God oh, of War again, maybe. Yeah, maybe more Elden Ring. That'd be cool. Ooh. Knights Kramen right now. Oh. <laughs> I would like to yeah. see if they. Um... <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm gonna change his pants real quick. Uh, I would like Sticky. to see if they're gonna talk about Master Duel, Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel. Oh yeah, that game. Um, I, I don't think that. they're gonna do that. We need a game show at the end of the month. Is gonna have more of it too, which is good. That's that's yeah. content right there as well. That's gonna be a cool game to play. Oh, I'm gonna stream the fuck out of it. It looks like so much fun. Yeah, no, I was gonna say I don't think they're they're gonna show like like I'm not gonna say like indie games because it's not an indie game, but I guess a smaller title because they said yeah. um with updates from PlayStation Studios and e- industry le- um leading devs. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's gonna be like big titles and stuff. It'd be interesting, like for sure. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. I am hyper that Yu-Gi-Oh game though. I'm gonna play it on my PlayStation. I don't even fuck oh, with yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh that heavy, but I probably still get it. <laughs> like on on God. That shit just looks fun. Like, <laughs> like seriously, that, that stuff looks fun. Yeah, I, I just hope they're not cancer with, like, acquiring cards. Like, I hope you don't kind of, like, yeah. buy it and shit, like, because oh, I'm not doing that. Or we'll just make it, like, a... I don't know, make it, like, a one-time... I mean, the game's paid for anyway, which is the thing that's annoying. If it was, like, a free-to-play game, and you can make it, like, a one-time, you purchase everything type beat, and then maybe it's a little different, but... I thought the game was free. You have to pay for it? Is it? It is free. Oh, okay, well, there you go. It, yeah, because I was uh, I was assuming since it's on mobile, it's free. Well, then it's definitely yeah. gonna be like a there'll be a there'll be payment packages to buy like cards or decks. Or yeah, at the end of that trailer, it says like unlock over ten thousand cards, but some cards are locked behind events and uh in app purchases. I just hope that it <laughs> isn't like Duel Link style, where like you buy. Oh, packs. if it's Duel Link, it's trash. I just hope that I really hope that it's gonna be um just like oh you can buy this deck or you can buy this entire box. Or you can buy like specific cards, or I don't know if they really want to make it so it's a like a, a purchase type beat. I hope it's I like the want... one of the older Yu-Gi-Oh games where like like each each like character that you fight has like a set amount of cards that drop, but like it's RNG. But if you keep fighting them enough, like you can get them to drop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. That'd be cool. Because I mean, like at least with like Yu-Gi-Oh, like. When you're, I guess, quote unquote, farming, like every game is different. It's not like you're just doing the same shit. How does yeah. um the Magic the Gathering game do it? Ah, uh, that's paid stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. That's like paid cards, but there's also like a draft thing where you can like pay to get like a draft token, and then you enter like a draft where you get like, a bunch of cards, and you know you do the whole like it's like it's like you're sitting in like a game store or whatever, and doing like a draft yeah. or whatever. But you, I, I used you, to play the older magics um yeah. the older magics not like just a new one but like the older ones they used to release decks for just like it was like a, just a couple bucks but like it was like two three bucks each so buy the entire deck and you yeah. get it exactly right that's fine like i don't care about that i think it'd but be like, i think it'd be cool yeah i just hope it's not like uh duelings where you gotta like fucking pop booster packs like nah fuck that no <laughs> that's that's that's, that's what i'm scared about but that's what i think is probably gonna be the case that would it, be the literally the worst way to do it. That's the gotcha element that they can capitalize on big time. And they could have like they could have like login packs literally. Where it's uh, like you, you pay you, you pay for a thing and then it's like you log in, you get like a couple packs or some shit like that. Like so I, I definitely See, like, the, do think the thing with possible. Yu-Gi-Oh for me is like my I peaked at Yu-Gi-Oh or like the OG Yu-Gi-Oh. Like I never watched GX, I never like watched five Ds or anything like that, but I played with GX and 5Ds in Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. 5Ds on the uh, 360. But, like, for me, like, I just like playing with, like, the base stuff. And I know the base stuff is, like, super ass now. Yeah. With, like, all the other stuff. But, like, I don't know, man. Like, learning all that XYZ, Zexel, you know, and, like, whatever the fuck they the, got now. Do you know what the meta is currently right now? The meta is to have, like, a fourth of your deck be dedicated to hand traps. I don't even know what the fuck a hand trap is. Yeah, what the fuck's so, a do you know the card Effect Veiler? Effect, effect what? Veiler. Veiler. Do you know if, what Effect Veiler is? No. It's a relatively old card, okay. So it's basically, a hand trap is like a, a monster or a spell or a trap that can activate directly from the hand to disrupt your opponent's plays. Okay. So, like, there's oh, cards that will say, like, <laughs> when your opponent activates X effect, 
you can send it from your hand to the graveyard and you negate it. Like there's like literally the meta is to have a quarter of your deck dedicated to hand traps to stop your opponent from playing. It's stupid. So it's, it's kind of like a burn deck in a way. Not really. Like people still run whatever they want. It's just that they just have a lot of hand traps as well. So they, a lot of people will end up with bricky hands, but they just stop their opponent from doing shit. Hmm. It's dumb. What's the yeah, is, is, I know there a, is there a like specific amount of cards you're like it's like is there a maximum to like how many cards you can have a deck or is it still Yeah, 40 yeah. to 60. Mm. Yeah, 40 to 60 is the max. Or the, yeah, the, but in the, some the decks ring. you don't want to have too many cards though. Most of the time it's 40 to Is it like if you card out as well? Like if you card out, like if you run out of cards, isn't that like a Yeah, little, if you, you deck lose? out it's a, you lose. Yeah, you so lose. If, if you if you deck out and you're at a point where you have to draw a card, you lose. Oh, so like if there's no possible yeah. play yeah. like and you start yeah. and you end so your if, turn or whatever. Yeah, if you've got no cards left and then an effect requires you to draw or it's the start of your turn and you have nothing in your deck, you lose. Oh. Yeah, there, there's um there's specific deck types that you can run where you force the player to continuously draw cards until like they run out. That's pretty smart. Yeah, it, it's it's super cheesy. <laughs> and then there's decks that require that they don't require, but they aim to send everything to the graveyard, like Light Sworn. Yeah, there's also uh, decks that just like constantly do like uh damage to life points with like spell cards and shit mm-hmm it'd be, trying to win with exodia it'd be a good experience yeah. like i don't know like if it's free as well and it's just like and it, it's what flame mentioned like the og games where you can just like grind like a bunch of duels and to get like card drops and stuff i might like i might have give it a go like, i don't see why not like give it a try like i'm, I'm not really the biggest card game fan but like yeah, you know, it's I, free, you know? It's free, like, you might as well try it and just see, like, and if I do enjoy it, then, like, hey, why not? Like, GGP Extra Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament. Bro, I, bro, <laughs> I'll, I'll get fucked. Not gonna pull up with some secret sauce or some shit, I don't know, man. Hey, at least we can play PvP against friends. Oh, shit, get fucked, Treasure Cruise. <laughs> nah, you know what was cool? I don't think they're gonna have it, but in the, um, the one on the 360, they had 2v2. That shit was so fun. Oh, like, tag duels? Yeah, tag duels. They used Hell to yeah. have that in, uh, What's it called Magic Guy uh, Magic the Gathering? I think it was called like Two Head Giant or some shit. Mm, okay. Yeah, those two v two ones. They they took it out of the Yu Gi Oh, but man, those two v two duels used to be so fun. Yeah, they're so good. Did they say when that's coming out or? They don't no, know that's the thing. They haven't revealed that much info. They haven't even had a release. They're cheeky yet, with so... it though. They're cheeky. I would guess if the game's free though, wouldn't that just them. obliterate Duel Links? As a game? That's the thing, because I feel oh, like I they're trying to make it in such a way that it doesn't hinder Duel Links, which is kind of difficult. I don't know. I feel like I feel like people are going to want to play the full game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Duel Links is like a minute, like basically like a, a shrunk down version, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a whole new meta. I yeah. feel like maybe there's like room for both, but I think more people are going to be likely to jump on like proper Yu-Gi-Oh! With like all, yeah, like that's one reason I didn't like Duel Links because there's like less cards on the field and shit. I do think that people are gonna. I think I think a lot of people are gonna probably jump. I mean, all Duel Links players will probably play. What is it called, Master Duel? Yeah, they're gonna probably try it, and then it's gonna be like you know. Then they'll obviously have that decision. Because I doubt people. I mean, probably there will be lots of like hardcore fans that will probably play both. But I think there's definitely gonna be a situation where a lot of people are gonna shift towards Master Duel instead. Because Konami yeah. are aiming to have Master Duel be like a new feature event at like their YCS tournaments. Because oh. currently, du currently Duel Links is like a big event at their big YCS tournaments. So it's like they're gonna have three big events, like the Trading Card, Duel Links, and then they're trying to have Master Duel as well. Because there, there's like there's no online Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like, similar to like how no, there's a... there's Pokemon TCG like online game as well. Yeah, there's no official. Oh, online. this is this is so where this the is what it is. In. Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah, because there are unofficial ones and they're decent, but yeah, now that they're working on an official one, that gets a lot of people excited. On a tangent, I reckon Nintendo should just buy Pokemon Showdown and make that the fucking <laughs> make Ooh. that make that what it is, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. Pokemon actually did an online game like that, an official one, like for online. That would be. I'd want to play it. Sick. Like, oh, yeah. remove out all the tedium of, like, grinding a mon, then EVing and IVing, and then, you know, I, I, you know, like, that'd be way more fun. 
But then again, they're probably like, oh no, it's much better to play the actual Pokemon game because you can build a bond with your Pokemon. When the hell is like the that. next big Nintendo Direct? Good question. Probably later in the what year. What they doing? Nah, I'm, I'm actually pretty hyped for that because there's, uh, there's rumors that they're going to show the new Xenoblade entry. So I'm hyped mm. about that personally. I'm still waiting for Persona 5 on the Nintendo Switch. Never. I'm still waiting for Persona 5 on the PC. <laughs> never. Okay, well, I guess I'm never playing Persona. <laughs> when you when you get your uh your vaccine on the black market and pull up, you can play it on my no, PS5. I might, buy a PS, I might buy a PS6 on the black market, bro. I don't know, man. Not sure, sure. <laughs> Plenty of stuff on that black market, bro. I'm a giga too. Oh, yeah. Side note in four days, uh, World Flippers new mobile games dropping. This guy, how do you? I, do you, I, how, I how, played the Japanese version of that, or the, what? whatever the first version of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, it actually wasn't bad. That's it. Okay. It it's the good. pinball game, right? Yeah. It wasn't yeah. bad, but it wasn't good. What, for what yeah, is, is it? Like a random bad. anime shit, or is it off a. I remember nah, like, seeing like it one something. time in Kua. I just downloaded it randomly because it, like, it was really popular in co-op one day. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is like kind of cool. It's got funky music. That's cool. 